How are we going with Ashton Goudeau? Patrick Sarno to start us off. Hi, Ashton. Hey, congrats on the first hit. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, no secret, you've uh, you've bounced around a little bit here for the last year or so. Yeah. Uh, to be able to come in and three innings, uh, perform pretty well. Uh, something I'm assuming you you you're going to grab onto every opportunity you can. And and uh, are you pretty pleased with how you you came through with this uh, latest outing for the Rocks? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, ever, ever since last November, it's been a journey, man. And uh, to be able to, you know, get, I got traded right back over here and I was about to start the other day in Louisville. And so it, it had been about, I think, eight or nine days since I've been in a game again. But it, it was good to come back, uh, good to be in purple again. And, uh, you know, at the time, keep the keep the team in the game and have a good outing. Did you collect the baseball from your first hit? Uh, yeah, I think they got it for me. I think Tiny said uh, he had it packed for the road trip. Cool. Who, who, who gets it? You keeping it or you giving it to somebody? Yeah, I, I gave my parents my jersey last year, so I think I'm going to keep the hit. That's awesome. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, we're going to Nick Grove. Uh, yeah, uh, Ash, uh, more, more on your hitting prowess. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. How, di how did you feel like in the box? Uh, honestly, pretty comfortable because uh, I, I was with the Reds. So, I mean, we were taking batting practice normally. And, uh, you know, I, I was used to hitting, but it had been a while since I seen a pitch come at me. It's been a little over a week. Uh, I mean, I, I had to take till I got a strike. And then, I mean, he threw that 1-1 one, uh, one slider. I did not see it at all. It was a very bad swing. <laughs> And then I figured I looked so bad on the first one, I was going to get another one. But uh, I was able to stay on that one a little bit and get the barrel on it. You were thinking like a pitcher. I, I, it was probably helpful. Uh, um, and then on the mound, um, I don't know what you expected exactly as your role um, coming, coming back. But um, did you, uh, you know, I mean, you really got thrown into the fire like right away, coming in right into the second inning. Did you feel like um, like you were, I mean, did it, did it, was it at all a surprise? Were you, were you prepared for that? Uh, no, just... Even even with the Reds, I was kind of considered like the long guy is, you know, something happens to the starter that you're going to be the one that's going to get the bullpen or like you're going to bridge the innings and get to the other guys in the bullpen. So, uh, you know, once this pitch count started uh, to kind of run up there a little bit, I started getting loose a little bit in the bullpen just so it wouldn't be a surprise if we got the call. And uh, but no, it was, you know, that's that's the role I've been kind of fitting into uh, the last year or so. So it was it wasn't really a surprise, but I was I was pretty comfortable uh, to be able to go out there. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Jim. Now we're going to Tracy Ringles being to finish up with Daniel. Trace, go ahead. Austin, how many uh, suitcases did you collect this year? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think five. <laughs> I think five. Five different teams. Yeah. You're ready for a big trip. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. When you're going through all that, is there any point where you ever start to say, I'm kind of where a point, it's like, this is this this is a never ending road. I might as well do something else. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't tough. There was a, there was a stretch there uh, about April, May when it was just it was it seemed like every two weeks I was going to somewhere new. And, you know, you're, you're kind of back in your mind is like what's going on. Uh, and, and, it, and it was hard. Uh, I, there was at some point I didn't really deal with it too well. But um, we're just able to keep going, try to stay focused and whatever opportunity I had with whatever team I tried to make most of it. Was it comfortable to come here just because you had been here a couple of years ago and you had the big fall league? I mean, you were pretty good in the fall league for them. Did that make this a more comfortable place than some? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I made that comment coming back here. It was, it was nice to come to an organization I'm familiar with. And I, it's something where I don't have to relearn everybody, everything. And it was something where I know all the guys. I kind of know what everyone's about. And it was, it was just more of a comfort thing to be able to uh, come back to the Rockies and wear purple again. And I was assume, knowing the bullpen coach from him being a minor league guy when you were here, that, that makes that a little bit easier too, right? Oh, oh yeah. Just just knowing the coaches and even even Fossey. I had Fossey. He was my very first pitching coordinator when I was with the Royals. So I've, I've known him for a long time. I've known D. Scott for a couple of years now. And just, just yeah, it's, it's, it's good when you're comfortable with the staff and uh, who you're playing with. Thank you, sir. Right, Daniel Guerrero, last question. Uh, Ashton, just a quick one about the hit. Uh, did you have to borrow somebody's bat or any gear to go up there? I, no, I came in from the first. I came in from the first inning, and uh, they was like, "Hey, you're hitting second. I was like, "Well, all my stuff is in my locker." Uh, so uh, I had Ham uh, Hampson was nice enough. He ran and got my bat, got my gloves, and I was able to get it to me before uh, I had to go out on deck. So they they helped me out a little bit with that.
Uh, was there any like reaction in the dugout um, for, you know, kind of treatment like that, you know, getting a hit? Uh, no, everyone just said congrats. It was pretty cool. Uh, it, it's always exciting when someone gets their first hit and especially when a pitcher can get a knock in his first at bat, you know.